Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is May 24th, 2018. And I want to talk to you about the Revelation 12 sign and the birthing event in the heavens. We came to Revelation chapter 12 and the sign, the great sign in the heavens on September 23rd. We knew that Jupiter had been in the womb of Virgo for over nine months. It had been approximately 10 months. And we were hoping and wondering if that would be the time of the deliverance of the baby. And uh, we were shown a birth event in the heavens. And September, on the Feast of Trumpets, could have been the time for the the deliverance, for the delivery, for the deliverance of the baby. But September 23rd came and went, and we're still here, and now we're on this stretch of the final 70 weeks of Israel and the year of Jubilee, and we are approaching a, a very critical time. And so now we have to consider... What does the sign of Revelation chapter 12 mean? See, we have a birthing event in the heavens. Now, what does it mean? Could this be a sign for rapture on the Feast of Trumpets in 2018? Well, we have a birthing event. The birth took place when? September? September 23rd. So if that was not the birthing event then that was the conception event. So what does that mean for the Feast of Trumpets? Could there possibly be rapture on the Feast of Trumpets if in 2017 on the Feast of Trumpets we had a conception event? When have you ever heard of a one-year pregnancy? See, this is the the reasoning why the rapture on the Feast of Trumpets is now simply impossible. Rapture on the Feast of Trumpets is now simply impossible. We have already seen the conception event. There has never been and never will be a one-year pregnancy. The rapture on the Feast of Trumpets now The Feast of Trumpets brought forth a wonderful, amazing sign. It was not the rapture, but the Feast of Trumpets did its job. It is a sign of rapture, but the rapture did not happen, nor will it happen on the Feast of Trumpets. Now, this is just my opinion, what I'm sharing with you. But what do we see then from the Revelation 12 sign? Well, we see a birthing event that we know that a normal birth event goes approximately 38 weeks or possibly 40 weeks at the most, maybe a little bit more, but not a full year, right? Not a full year. We have a nine-month gestation period that we know as three trimesters, okay, and if we followed this through from, from September, and we saw the, the trimesters, September, October, November to December, we see the birth pangs increase, right? The birth pangs increased around December with the, the Jerusalem Declaration and, 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 and then uh, the vote against Jerusalem at the United Nations. And then the birth pangs increased again around the beginning of March and in April, the second trimester of the pregnancy and the birth pangs are increasing and there was the then there was the uh, the attack on Syria and the anniversary of Israel on April 20th on IR5 and so this is the second trimester now we're we're in the third trimester right now and we're coming up upon the 9 month marker right and what, what does the nine-month marker bring us to? Well, let's read Matthew 24, 32 through 33. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. 
when its branch has already become tender and put forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the doors. So we have a birth event in the heavens, and we have the scripture that tells us that we should understand that summer is near, right? And so nine months from the Feast of Trumpets and nine months from the Revelation 12 sign is the summer solstice. It's a nine-month birth gestation period of a baby. And it brings us to the edge of summer. Okay? So we have a very important uh, a very important time that we're looking at. Now, Brother Sandy, Pastor Sandy, has shared, and I will try to find the link for you, he has shared that the Lord told him that we would be gone before the summer solstice. Well, we've heard that before, right? We've heard that before. Well, anyway, there's a lot of people that really... Uh, like Pastor Sandy and respect him. So that might be something you would want to look into and, and what he has to say about that, uh, about that. Okay. But so here we have this summer solstice coming up on June 21st. Now I've got information that shows just before, remember the scripture says summer is near. Okay. It doesn't say that summer has come. It doesn't say that we are in summer. It says that summer is near. And I've got information that leads us to June 13th, which is just about one week before the summer solstice. So what we have to understand is that we are at the door right now. The time is not only <laughs> close. I mean, we are on top of this. It's not something that will take us as far as the Feast of Trumpets, because when have you ever heard of a one-year pregnancy? A birthing event in the heavens from the Feast of Trumpets, one full year to next year on the Feast of Trumpets, just really simply does not make sense. So we need to understand we are at this time. Now, what is this June 13th marker? It is the actual day of Pentecost in 1948. So what I see is this this is the final marker from 1948 because the prophecy has to do with the Feast of Weeks. So 70 weeks are determined. And so here we have the, the actual date of Pentecost from 1948 was June 13th. This is the day that uh, Donald Trump and North Korea had planned their, their peace and safety summit, which is now... on. Uh, it has been officially canceled, and now the rumors of war has uh, picked up. There's actually been a threat from North Korea about nuclear, you know, about a nuclear attack on the United States, and they called uh, Michael Pence stupid, and uh, Donald Trump said we cannot, under these conditions, do a summit, and he has been talking now about the United States being ready for an attack on North Korea, if such an attack is necessary. So, I mean, this has gone from a peaceful plan of peace and safety summit to a declaration or almost a, a declaration of war. Okay, so this is, you know, this is tied together with this. And uh, here is the verse that says, uh, whenever it is said that they, whenever it is that they are saying peace and safety, then sudden destruction is to be instantly upon them, just as the pang of distress upon a pregnant woman. They will by no means escape. And here's our 153 fish from John 21, the, the full net, 1 First Thessalonians 5, 3, 1, 5, 3. And, and then so tying this in, what is the connection to the birthing event, I mean, we still have a perfect gestation time from the Feast of Trumpets, September 21st, 2017 to June 13th, 2018 is 266 days. So that's a perfect gestation time of a, of a baby. So whether it is June 13th or whether it is the summer solstice, 
we do have a biblical precedent, a biblical understanding from the prophecy of Jesus Christ that says, you know, that summer is near. So summer is definitely a marker we should be watching. It lines up with the Revelation 12 sign. It lines up with everything we're watching. It lines up with the birth pains that we've seen increasing each and every, you know, each and every stretch, December and then April, and now it's picking up. And it's like the birth event is about to take place right here at the edge of summer, okay? And so I shared this timeline in, in the video I did uh, two days ago, which I entitled, which I entitled, The Final 70-Year Marker, Peace and Safety, June 13th, 2018. When I shared this video, it comes up. That viewer discretion is advised. The following content has been identified by the YouTube community as inappropriate or offensive to some audiences. And the uh, it's not you're not allowed to share it. You can't see uh, the number of views. You can't like it or dislike it, and you can't comment because this has been flagged as inappropriate for some audiences. So you can choose to, to go by that warning and watch the video, but all the other functions on the video. So why did they censor this video? What is so important about the information that I shared? Because it surely was not offensive. What is, what is so important about the information that I shared that would... Uh, That would cause them to flag it. Well, anyway, here's the information I'm sharing, and uh, summer is at the door. And I pray everyone is ready. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed. God bless.